What does Tektron and the Springboks have in common? The answer is defense. Just like the Springboks are known for their relentless defensive strategies on the field, Tektron are known for their robust protection against cybersecurity threats using tools like Defender for Endpoint. But what is Defender for Endpoint? Defender for Endpoint is a comprehensive security solution designed to protect your business devices and data against cybersecurity threats and it's included within Microsoft 365. My name is Angelo Boswell and I'm from Tektron Business IT Services. We provide effective and efficient cybersecurity solutions for SMEs within South Africa, specializing in the Microsoft stack. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with Microsoft Defender in an easy and convenient way. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do is log into admin.microsoft.com with a global administrative account. So for this example, we're going to be using two admin centers. The first one being the security admin center and the second one being the Intune admin center, previously known as the Endpoint Manager admin center. So the first thing we're going to do is configure the email notifications. The reason for this is because we need to know if one or more of our devices have any issues or if there are any vulnerabilities. To do this, we're going to log into the Security Admin Center. Scroll down to Settings and select Endpoints. Then under the General tab, select Email Notifications. As you can see, we've got two tabs, one for alerts and one for vulnerabilities. To configure the alerts, we're going to select Add Notification Rule. For the name, I'll be using Tektron Defender Notification and click Next. On the Notification Settings, I'll be selecting everything above and under the Alert Severity, I'm going to be selecting Low, Medium and High because we don't need any informational alerts. Once you're comfortable with the settings that you feel best suits your organization, head over and click Next. Next, you'll need to add an email address for the notifications and click Submit. For this example, I'll be using support at tektron.co.za. I'll click Add and then Next. Review your rule that you've just created and click Submit. The next thing we'll need to do is configure the vulnerabilities alert. Next, click on Vulnerabilities and Add Notification Rule. We'll call this Tektron Vulnerabilities Alert. Ensure that the Activate Vulnerability Notification Rule is enabled and click Next. Then we're going to tick all the boxes over here and set the severity threshold to low to ensure that we get as much information or notifications on the alerts as possible. And click Next. We'll add the same email address, which is support at tektron.co.today. And click Add. Then click Next. And Submit to complete. Next, we'll need to look at device onboarding. Now you can use Microsoft 365 Defender or Intune to do this. However, our recommended method is Intune. To use Intune, you're going to need either a Enterprise Mobility Plus Security subscription, E3, E5 or Microsoft Business Premium license. To use Intune, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to intra.microsoft.com and search for Mobility. Then we'll select Microsoft Intune. Then under the MDM and MAM user scopes, ensure that the 
Toggle switch for all is selected on both and click save to confirm the changes. This means that every time a user adds a new device to Azure AD, it will automatically be enrolled into Intune. The next thing you want to do is enable the Endpoint Security Profile and Defender for Endpoint Connector. To do this, we're going to head over to intune.microsoft.com, select Endpoint Security, scroll down to Setup, and select Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Then, under the Endpoint Security Profile settings, we're going to toggle the switch that allows Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to enforce Endpoint Security configurations. For this example, we won't be using any Android, iOS or Mac devices, so I won't change any of these settings. However, I'll also check the block unsupported OS versions. To ensure that it doesn't get deployed on any operating systems that doesn't meet the basic standard. And click save to confirm the changes. Another way to onboard your devices is to head back to the Security Admin Center, navigate to uh, Device Management and Onboarding. The first thing you need to do is select your operating system, whichever one you may choose, and then you'll need to select the deployment method, which could either be a local script, group policy, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, Mobile Device Management or Intune, and the VDI onboarding script for non-persistent devices. Once you've made your selection, you can download the onboarding package, head over to the endpoint using a USB flash drive, plug it in and install it. To confirm if the device has correctly been onboarded, you can copy the command prompt script, head over to the endpoint, open up a command prompt, paste it in and hit enter. If successful, the detection test will be marked as completed and a new alert will appear in a few minutes. But for now, let's head back over to Intune to continue with the onboarding process. Next, we'll select Endpoint Security and then Endpoint Detection and Response. To create a new policy, select the Addition button. Under Platform, we'll select Windows 10, 11 and Windows Server and under Profile we select Endpoint Detection and Response and click Create. For the name I'll be using EDR Test and click Next. Under Microsoft Defender Endpoint Client Configuration Package I'll select Auto from Connector. Sample Sharing, we won't be using that feature and the telemetry reporting has been depreciated. So I'll click next. Under scope tags, we'll click next. And under assignment, we'll select all users and all devices and click next. However, if you have any special groups or any other policies, you can go as granular as you would like and click next. Then review your settings and click create to confirm. And the last thing you'll need to do is configure the security baseline. To do this, we'll select the security baselines tab. And under the security baselines, we'll select Microsoft Defender for endpoint baseline. Next, we'll select Create Profile. I'll name this Policy Defend for Endpoint Baseline. And select Next. The Configuration Settings Baseline is the recommended settings that the experts at Microsoft chose based on the security threats and vulnerabilities that could cause harm to your organizations. So if you want to change, amend or modify any of the settings, you can go ahead. But for this example, we'll just use the security baseline selected by Microsoft and click next. Under scope tags, we'll click next. 
then under assignment we'll select all users and all devices again if you have a specific or specialized group that you want to use please go ahead and add that group and you can deselect all users and all devices when you're done click next then you can review your settings confirm everything and click create and there you go Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Quick and easy.